Those silver dollars in your pocket, Mr. Kalman? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Kalman, will you come over here and sit down next to me and on the basis of uh, your residence, what you said, the trip you took and everything, at this point we give them one free guess as to what your line may be. We'll begin the free guesses as usual with Miss Emerson. I think Mr. Kalminer has something to do with dude ranches where lonesome ladies stay. Mr. Sir. He's probably one of those divorce lawyers out in Nevada. Miss Francis. I think he plays professional football. Mr. Block. I think he sells headache powders to giant fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been nice seeing you, Tom. Yes, it has been. Miss Arlene Francis. Mr. Tommy Kalminer. <laughs> <laughs> gave it away. Your shoulders, man. Oh, brother. <laughs> you just couldn't do anything. I forgot to tell him it was all in the coat. No, it isn't. It's I really feel different. terribly about it. Really, I do. I'll oh, come and watch you play. Where do you play? Who wins? Uh, we play New York Giants Thursday here at the Polo Grounds. And thereby lies the story I want to tell, too. Mr. Tommy Kalminer plays halfback for the champion Los Angeles Rams, and they're going to play the New York Football Giants this coming Thursday at the Polo Grounds. That's Thursday, September 18th, that would be, right? That's right. And it's for the New York Journal American Hearst Free Milk Fund for Babies. So uh, this is the only time that the Los Angeles Rams are going to be here in New York. If you want to see them play, you've got to go out and get your tickets. If you haven't got them, it's a good chance I to get them now. I certainly will. And send you some tea formation to go with it. I'm almost <laughs> Maybe we'll even put them on a new show called What's My Lineman? What's My Lineman? <laughs> well, Tommy, there's one thing I refuse to do. When you come all the way from Reno and Las Vegas to see us, we're going to send you away happy answer. We'll just flip and see what happens. What happens? Well, looks like you won $25, but what's my line? Well, it just goes to show you how things happen. Tom and I were a little bit afraid that somebody would recognize him as a professional football player because he had a shiner. That's why he kept this side of his face. Today. I've got a shiner, and I don't play pro football. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. I really never did see him play. Well, that's all right. You get a chance to see him play on Thursday night. I will. We better now close be up our other eye. Give up our other eye for that. Before we introduce our mystery guest, let's... Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we dispense with all the usual preliminaries, get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with uh, Miss Arlene Francis. Oh, I don't think you ever ought to talk to me again. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you. Are you in the entertainment business? No. That would be one down and nine to go, Mr. Quick. Block. Are you in the public eye? Yes. Uh, do you have anything to do with athletics? No, I don't. Two down and eight to go, Miss Emerson. Oh, dear. Uh, are you in the political world at all? No. Boy, I wish you were running for something more. <laughs> I want to vote down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Have you anything to do with, with the arts? With the what? Arts. With hearts? The arts. A-R-T-S. Yes, yes. Uh, are you in any way connected with the literary world? No. That would make it four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Just a minute. Now, not literary, not in the entertainment business. Not in, um, uh, uh, would you be considered, uh, are you somebody whose picture is in the paper quite often? Yes. Uh, would you be uh, seen in a, a society page? In places. Part of you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it depends on the town. That's right. There are, there are situations, um, which uh, would do find... you, uh, uh, do you do whatever you do uh, in one place, uh, as opposed to traveling around. Well, that, uh, yes, that kind of gives us a problem. Actually, um, uh, travel is uh, indicated at some stage or another, wouldn't you say? So we'd give you a conditional yes on that, Miss Francis. Uh, do you, um, goodness, do you don't <clears throat> appear, do you appear on a stage in any capacity? Yes. Uh, do you make speeches? Mm, I think probably you'll be making small, really yeah, nice. small speeches, little tidy ones, you know. <laughs> all, all the verbs and nouns and plays and that sort of thing. 
What are they, accepted speeches? Yeah. Does somebody give you something? Some. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is this work that you do uh, something that is seasonal? No. Uh, just a moment, we're going to have a small conference. <laughs> We have held a meeting of the Committee of the Whole, and we have decided uh, that uh, actually there is a seasonal quality. Go ahead, Miss Bennett. What I really meant was, you know, could this uh, young lady be Miss Cotton Picker of 1950 or something? Well, I mean, to the degree that you describe a limited uh, functioning, to that degree it's seasonal, yes. It is seasonal to that degree. Yes. Um, well, do you, uh, are you in prominence then at a certain time of year when something especially is developed, like tobacco or no. cotton? Or, no. No. Well, five down and five to go, Mr. Block. I think I gained something from their last lap on Miss Cotton figure. <laughs> is this a beautiful girl? Yes, sir. Is this the kind of girl that I would like to be out with after the show? <laughs> I think it's only fair to say we have yet to find one that you wouldn't be like. Huh? <laughs> this, is one, this is one that you decide to be out with after the show, Mr. Clark. Is she real pretty and well-built and everything? Please, Mr. Clark, I don't feel that I have a right to discuss some. <laughs> She's very pretty. Is she a miss? Yes. Is this a special type of miss? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Is this Miss America? This is... <laughs> Miss Neva So don't I get a reward? <laughs> uh, beg your pardon, Mr. Black? Don't I get a reward? <laughs> yeah, you, you get to look at her. Miss Neva Jane Langley, would you please explain to me how it is that the state of Georgia ever let a peach like you get loose to come up here? It was rather hush-hush today. I flew up on an airplane from Atlanta. Uh -huh. My folks didn't even know I was coming up. Well, don't they know you're on the program? No, today? they don't, unless they happen by chance to see it. Well, this is our said. chance, they, kid. This, they, they never do miss seeing it, I hope, because it'd be a shame. Is this your first television appearance? Yes, it is. Well, I know that you're now launching out upon a very great year in your life. All of us, Ms. Emerson, Mr. Cerf, Ms. Francis, Mr. Block, and myself, Wish you a very happy and successful year and a much more very successful life. And thanks a lot for coming Thank to you. see us. All right, to have you.